I'm going to show you what apps and even websites are draining all your power on your MacBook. Let's get into it. Welcome back. I'm going to get into this one very quickly and just share my screen and my MacBook here. But I want to just set the video, set the stage for the video. So a lot of people want to know exactly what apps and what individual, even individual websites are draining all your power on your MacBook. What is using all that power? How do you figure it out? There's a couple little things you got to figure out. And I'm going to show you three different areas where you have to look and then you can go ahead and calculate this out exactly, pretty close at least. So without further ado, if you want to know what's draining your MacBook, let's get into it. All right, so I'm on OS Ventura. Now, one thing to remember is I'm going to show you some basic stuff at the beginning, but stay till the end. I'm guaranteed there's going to be some things in here you do not know about, so stay tuned till the end. All right, so the very first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on your little battery icon up here, see it up here. Now, things could be different. I'm in OS Ventura again. If you're in an older Mac OS, this could be different. So this is for Ventura and, and later. So click on the battery icon up here. Go down to battery settings, right? So the very first thing, this is the thing most people are going to know about. But I want to just go over this really quickly. So this screen right here, you can see, it's going to show you what's what's draining your battery. I had, there's a couple things new in Ventura. See this little charge thing right here, this little line down here? That means you were on battery power during that time. So that's really cool. That tells you that you were plugged in. Obviously, you had no drain. You can see because you were plugged in. That makes sense. When I unplugged it, though, my battery started to drain. You can see it over here. That's your battery level. Down here, this is going to represent your usage time. So I used it for about 15 minutes here, about an hour here, about 45 minutes here. And you can see how the battery basically drained down. And it's been draining down to about 82% right now. So you can get all that statistics right here. You can also see the last 10 days here. So this will show you your last 10 day usage. And days that you don't have it plugged in and actually you just have it closed and maybe just in sleep mode, you're going to get some battery drain. That's that's pretty normal. On days that you actually do use it, it's going to say screen usage here. And that's where you're going to drain the most of your battery, you can see. So this tells you one thing, right? But it doesn't tell you enough. So the next thing that we want to go into here is going to be down. You want to go into your launch pad right here and then you want to go into other click on that and then what you're looking for here is activity monitor right there or you can do a search and spotlight for that click on that so this is the cool thing now this is actually even I'm going to stay with me because this is even going to be more interesting in a second so you can see here now once you get into here you want to click on energy you might have been on CPU but you want to click on energy right there so it's going to take a couple seconds once you click on it. You can see how it's kind of loading here. And it's going to, I probably should have done that during the video, but you can see. So now you can see this inner energy impact column right here. And this is, now these numbers don't mean anything in, you know, they don't have units based with them, but they're relative to one another. So right now I'm in activity monitor and it's using 15.3. That means that iMovie, which is sitting idle right now in the background, is using 1.9. So that, what is that? That's basically two, that's like about seven times more power activity monitor is using right now. Than, than actually iMovie. So you see that? So it's relative. So that's about, you know, seven to one or whatever that, that number comes out to. So as you open up apps, you can see, let me go ahead and open up Safari. It's been open. And if I'm in here, I can go ahead and click on different, obviously different websites and stuff like that. Let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to be kind of fooling around with this. Now, as soon as you open up an app, you're going to notice that the activity monitor over here, if we go back over here, it's going to jump up. Look at Safari. It was at, now it's at 6.8. So now it's using you know, relative to these other apps, uh, you know, it's moving around as we speak, as you can see, but it's it's now it's 0.3. So if you open up an app, though, let's just do that. You can see if we kind of have this in the background, you can see how it starts going up. See it there? So I'm going to click on something else and, you know, let's just actually do some stuff in here that's a little bit more... I guess we'll just start moving around and stuff. But as you can see, as you do more stuff, this number here and the energy impact over here, right here, Safari is going to be moving a little bit, right? Now I'm not doing much, so it's going back down. So this doesn't tell you too much either. It just tells you kind of, you know, you could obviously put this next to this one and shrink the screen and have this showing like I'm doing and then basically be in this app. And you can kind of see what the energy impact is. Um, of different websites and stuff but that doesn't give you the real numbers what it does do is a couple things so now if we look back at this screen this is the energy impact again this is the more important column over here so over 12 hours this shows you basically what your energy energy impact was and so again these numbers are don't have units associated with them but they're all relative to each other so over the last 12 hours safari has 118 rating there iMovie only has four points, you know, 4.6, you know, and these are all fours. So that's roughly, what is that, 20, 30, or almost 30 more times more power by Safari than, uh, obviously, than these other apps we're using. So, again, that tells you a lot. So that tells you Safari is your biggest power draw, but it doesn't tell you 
how long you've been using all these apps, right? And that's the main thing. So obviously if I was using Safari for 25 times more than I was using iMovie, then it would be 25 times more power uh, and it wouldn't really be relative. So, but this at least gives you an idea of what the power actually is, right? So now the biggest thing that you can actually do, and let me just show you, this is the coolest feature. So you have all this information. You have, this is the energy impact in current real time. This is over 12 hours and you can see what's relative. So you, you look in here and you're like, oh my God, look at this. Safari's got using all this. Well, there's a little tab over here. See it over here? If you click on this little arrow, it opens up this. You can actually go in here and now you can look at individual websites. So there's going to be a lot of junk in here, but if you go down to individual websites, you can see like YouTube here is 14.8. In fact, let me just show you. If you click on the energy impact up here, it'll actually list them from highest to lowest, I believe. So yeah, so under Safari here, you can see. So um, it's all switching in real time, so it's moving around. But you can see uh, YouTube was using 12.7 of that. Uh, <laughs> ESPN, um, let me just see here, was using 2.4. So basically what it does is it's going to show you, um, you know, it's going to always be changing, but it's going to show you like which, which actual individual websites in here are actually using. Like you can see Micro Center down here is using nothing right now. So if I go in here and I click on Micro Center and I start doing some stuff with Micro Center like that, and I go back into here, you're going to go back into here and you're going to see Micro Center now. It went up to 103. See that for a second? Now it's back down. Now it's back down to 2.5. So you can see all that stuff. And over time, over the 12 hours, this all adds up over here and gives you that number. So this is all kind of, you know, I know I'm talking fast and it's a lot of stuff, but this is not the most important thing. This, this gives you those individual statistics. You can click on Safari and get the individual websites usage. That's all great and dandy. But the coolest thing is, is this. So if you click over here on the Apple icon, you go to system settings and you go into screen time right here. See it right there? Uh, you have to actually you have to actually have screen time turned on. A lot of times this is turned off. I actually just turn mine on, so I just want to let you know that full disclosure right there. But once this is turned on, it starts collecting data. So once you have that turned on, you click on app usage there, and now look at this. Now what you can tell. So I had this running for about 48 minutes. When I say running, I mean collecting my app usage time. So if I go down here. I can see that I had I used Safari 24 minutes during this time. I used YouTube. You know, this is the actual individual website. So if you look at Safari, and then you add YouTube, which is 10. This is 8 for ESPN and Micro Center is 5. It should equal equal 24, which it does. See that? So these three websites equal what Safari was. That's how that works. But then you can see that I used iMovie for only five minutes. I used Activity Monitor for five minutes. Pages for only four minutes. I used Finder for 59 seconds. So the cool thing is, is so now what you can do is as long as you, let's say you set this, let's say you turn this off and then turn this on at the beginning of the day, right? And just so you start monitoring everything right at the beginning of the day. Then over here, same thing, you, you charge your battery up to 100% so it's fully charged and then you start basically looking at these numbers. And then over the course of the 12 hours, you go over here and you can see how much power something was used. So Safari again over 12 hours, even though I've only been doing this not for 12 hours, but this is kind of a running total, it's 118, so it's 20 times difference, right? You can see it there over these other ones, 20 times. So again, if I go into system settings and I look at this again, I'm going to notice that even these things are used only like what? Not 20 times more, so Safari was used quite a bit more than these other applications, but only about five times more, not 20 times more. So you can see that Safari is using more power, obviously, because of that. You have to kind of, this is not always accurate if these things aren't equal, so that's why you have to turn this on at the same time in the morning. Also, have a full charge battery and then start looking at this number over here, and then they can be accurate. And you can kind of start putting things together and see how many minutes you've actually used the app over that time, and then what your 12-hour power draw is. And again, these are not units. These are just individual numbers that are relative to each other. But with that, with that information, you can then go in here and see how long you've actually been using the apps. So I know that's a ton of information to throw at you, and it's a little bit interesting. But again, Activity Monitor gives you kind of these unrelative numbers or relative numbers to each other, but not you can't really quantify them. Um, and then you can click on these little things over here, like in um, Safari, to get individual websites. But you got to go in and search for them. See, like YouTube and Micro Center, ESPN, see them in there. But they're always going to be moving on and stuff like that. It's hard to do a video on. So I hope this helps people. So at the end of the day. You can go ahead and use your apps and stuff set up in the morning with a full charge, turn activity monitor, 
you know, everything, your, your application monitor, you know, or the time, turn that off in the, and then turn it back on in the morning right when you're about to start so that you have real usage times and everything. And then you can go in and actually start using everything and see how much, you know, how much energy everything's using. So I hope this helps. At the end of the day, you know what I say, um, it's a little complicated, but it's something that's just, you know, once you start fooling around with those three things, you can figure everything out, and it's very easy to figure out the problem apps and where you're using all your energy and how to prevent it. Maybe some specific website uses way more energy than another one, and uh, it's just built bad because each website's kind of like its own application. All right, time to wrap this up. So let me know in the comments, was this helpful or was this not helpful? I think it, a lot of people could help out because... While this is not an exact one for one, you got to kind of crunch some numbers and you got to look at various screens and stuff. You can figure out what's draining the battery. Let's say you want to compare it Chrome versus Safari, different versions of browsers using the same websites and stuff. If you set up tests, you can do it and you can figure out really what's causing all your battery drain on your MacBook, right? That's usually what people want to know. Is it what app I'm using? Is it is this? Is it that? Is it a website draining all my stuff? Websites are just like individual applications. If they're coded terribly, they'll use a lot of power and stuff like that. ESPN is one of them. So just at the end of the day, I hope this helps people. Let me know in the comments if you'd like videos more like this and stuff and I'll make more. And this is going to be a great start to 2023. So I hope everyone has a great 2023 and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.